What is good YouTube? It's your boy LB Skinny and today I'm here to check out 15 PS5 games with absolutely insane graphics so far. Now, I do have a PS5, you know how I'm saying. Um, my personal opinion, it may just because I only play like 2K and like Call of Duty, not really even Call of Duty, but I played the games you know, that I was already playing. I don't really see that much of a difference between PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. I don't know if it's because I got, you know what I'm saying, when they first came out type shit, and they just, they wasn't fully done vamping the motherfucker up. I don't know. It still feel like a PS4. Like, if you just got a PS4, I'll say you ain't missing out on much yet yet but that's why i decided to check out these games that's out with the insane graphics you know what i'm saying i'm trying to trying to expand my horizons you know what i'm saying and since this is absolutely insane graphics we're gonna have to turn this um quality up to 2160 4k you know what i'm saying so uh hopefully this computer can run it up Gaming Bolt. Shout out to my fucking Gaming Bolt. Five is almost a year old and has already seen quite the graphical journey thus far. There's even more to come though, so join us as we look at 15 titles on the console with the best visuals thus far. From upcoming titles which have showcased in-game visuals to upgrade. I have been seeing. Uh, I don't know what that is thus far. From up that game right there. I think it's called like Horizon or some shit, but. That shit look crazy. That shit do look like a good staple for PS5 to base. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, our graphics coming like this. But you know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. Upcoming titles which have showcased in-game visuals to upgraded like, PS4 damn. titles that shine even more on the PS5. There's quite a roster to choose from. Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. <coughs> Kick some robo butt. I heard, I heard this was real good. I haven't played it. I wasn't that big of a fan of Ratchet and Clank, you know what I'm saying? My brother, Zay Rashad, he was heavy on that and like Jax and all that shit. I never really got into Any it. issues with that question, but why not? From the very first Ooh. reveal, Ratchet Ooh. and Clank Rift Apart was something special. Damn, I wasn't expecting texture it to really work, look character like models, and gorgeous environments, not to mention details like fur and ray-traced reflections, looked incredible. But all of this is supported by incredible texture streaming technology and seamless loading between areas thanks to the console's SSD. If any title could... That's another thing. This video probably about to be full of motherfucking pauses, but the loading time on the PlayStation 5, I'll give it that. That motherfucker, you click that motherfucker, you think on the PS4 or whatever, you could go run downstairs real quick, go do something. Nah, that motherfucker, about two, three seconds, it get a quick little loading screen and boop, that motherfucker gone. Could be compared to a Pixar film in terms of visual fidelity, then Rift Apart may be it. I could definitely see that. Returnal. Returnal. House Mark's knowledge and input. I ain't even gonna say nothing about the game. I'm gonna talk about the title. That's a stupid ass title. I'm sorry to say it. Returnal. What the fuck? Of particle effects goes a long way towards making they Returnal came feel up with as heroin and chaotic as it does gorgeous. The incredible character models and textures what? allow both Celine and the various creatures of Atropos to come to life in haunting fashion. That shit look lit, though. Even with all the attention to detail, it still runs at a near constant 60 frames per second. Demon Souls. The visuals of Demon Souls look incredible while still maintaining the classic feel of the original PS3. Okay, okay that's what I was about to ask. Is that the the playstation game that the niggas was saying this shit was hard as fuck to beat or like actually just play through i seen that and i was like ah, nope not wasting my time release and to that end it's capable of running in a near flawless 4k resolution environments have been polished with increased geometrical complexity real-time shadows and lighting and textures pretty much look flawless across the board it's a testament once again to blue point game it looks nice but the running on it it looks a little a little iffy. It's impeccable talent. 
Definitely looks iffy. Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon, there we go. Though we've only really seen one proper gameplay demo thus far, Horizon Forbidden West is already looking to be one of the most beautiful open world games yet. Oh, and the that motherfucker open world? And effects are dotted with realistic water rendering and exceptional <coughs> foliage density, <coughs> not to mention high quality shadows and lighting. Guerrilla Games also revealed that the added power of the PS5 allows for increased skeletal joints for even better deformations and facial skeletal expressions joints. and characters. What the fuck? This is in addition to models having more polygons, smooth contouring, mm. and much more. That shit gonna be Death Stranding. That shit gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to get that Horizon. That motherfucker look nice. That's a motherfucker. Oh shit! This shit probably already came out. I might need to go get it. In director's cut. Even when it launched for the PlayStation 4, Kojima Productions' Death Stranding was an incredible looking game. Powered by the Decima engine, it boasts physically based lighting, detailed environments, and that painstakingly recreate the fjords of Iceland, and extensive animation work along with the meticulously crafted textures and facial expressions. The director's you cut. You had to push L2 and R2 to stop your jump, because that nigga like over jumped and. Whoa. This looks a little, like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'd probably not end up fucking with it, but damn, what the fuck? These niggas, they come in different. It ups the ante further different. with 4K and 60 frames per second options on the PlayStation 5, further highlighting the twisted brilliance of the game's aesthetic. Ghost this shit is hard not to pause it. But what the fuck is even the point of that game? All I seen that nigga do was just jump and kind of fly. I didn't see him, like discover or like shoot anything or, you know to Tsushima let director's me know. cut Ghost Much like Death Stranding this, Ghost of Tsushima this shit was beautiful even on PS4 Tsushima already looked amazing on launch on the Facts. PlayStation 5 Sucker Punch's recreation of Tsushima looks even more stunning with checkerboard 4K and 60 frames per second modes whether it's the lighting and the shadows, environmental textures, character models, effects, water rendering, or performance, it simply has to be seen in motion to be believed. Yeah, Final be Fantasy good. VII Remake, Intergrade. It's a little insane. I'm gonna put some uh, speed on this motherfucker because this shit going a little slow, but it's crazy. I sound like a hater right now, but honestly, all these games ain't really just some shit I'm into. I'm really into some simple ass shit. I play Mortal Kombat. I play 2K. I used to love WWE, but them games just got so fucking lame. And you know, you know what happened with them. But man, this shit. Well, with the the Final Fantasy shit. This is Final Fantasy VII. I'm pretty sure they got a Final Fantasy like 13 or some shit. They had this one where the niggas look like they low key look like some TikTok kids. They was riding a car in that motherfucker. Like I was thinking about downloading it. Cause it was free, but I was like, huh, this shit's probably free for a reason. But shout out to Final Fantasy for keeping they shit going on. Like they still going. But just how many stellar looking titles launch on the PS4 just as the PS5 neared release. But even with all of the praise that Final Fantasy VII Remake received, there was criticism of it, some low quality textures. Integrate suffers no such issues. The art direction and environments look even more gorgeous thanks to texture quality improvements. Coupled with high quality assets and an improved skybox, improved screen space reflections and volumetric fog, and you've got arguably the best looking RPG from Japan at this time. All of that, Those plus support nice. for dynamic 4K at 30 frames per second or 1512p at 60 frames per second with almost no drops in frame rate. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get to see a lot of Marvel Spider-Man 2, but the reveal trailer still looked incredible. From the deep- I don't remember even if I played. For some reason, I feel like they didn't drop multiple fucking Spider-Man games, but they've all been called like just Spider-Man or some shit. Like, even the Miles Morales version. I remember I bought the, I bought the original Spider-Man. Then a year later, I bought the Miles Morales version. I don't even remember if it was a different game, but it felt like it. And now I guess this is the second one. Regardless, dope game. Great web swinging, you know what I'm saying? It, it felt very realistic. And especially me, you know what I'm saying? I used to play Spider-Man on motherfucking Nintendo 64, I think it was. Like, him and Venom, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was, like, it was terrible. But... Man, this shit is just dope to see the progress. Details on Peter, Miles, and Venom, to the lighting, the shadows, and environmental details. Even more incredible is that it was running in real time on the PlayStation 5, as confirmed by lead VFX artist Brianna Lindsay on Twitter. It just makes the wait for the next reveal that much more palpable. 
for Spoken. Luminous Productions' upcoming action Spoken. adventure title combines sweeping fantasy landscapes lush with green and sleek, fast-paced action. The overall extent of its scale remains to be seen, but thus far, details have looked pretty good in terms of textures and grading. Characters like the protagonist Frey also animate extremely well, and the spell effects are fairly eye-catching. Now that looks that looks pretty good. That looks like a good game. Characters like the protagonist Frey also animate extremely well. Like they get did. I need that. And the spell effects are fairly eye catching. Final Fantasy 16. 16. The next major Final Fantasy title. Six. God. I thought these niggas was on 13. How the fuck did these niggas just jump from seven to 16? It looks to be a big departure from more recent entries, utilizing <coughs> a more grounded aesthetic. The medieval fantasy-esque setting combines well with series like Econs, Crystals, and even the adorable Chocobo, all rendered in loving detail. Material detail, particularly for cloth and armor, looks great, as do the textures and characters and various creatures, and keep in mind that this isn't even the final version of the game. <coughs> Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo has always been a bastion of realistic visuals, and Gran Turismo 7 is no exception. Polyphony Digital is aiming at 4K 60 frames per second gameplay with HDR support, and thus far, it's provided some exquisitely detailed cars and environments. While ray tracing is unfortunately restricted to replays, the reflection quality during races is still worth noting on top of the overall fidelity. Kena Bridge Crazy. Spirits. Speaking of the Pixar comparison, we have Kena Bridge of Spirits. We I've seen this. This shit, it looks so iffy. Kena Bridge of Spirits. It looks so iffy. Speaking of the Pixar comparison. Let me turn down the speed. Maybe, well, even when I seen it like a couple months ago, it looked a little iffy, but it looks cool. I don't know. It's just one of them games you probably got to really play. We have Kena Bridge of Spirits. When it was first announced last year, its cinematic prowess and quality were immediately evident as characters animated naturally. And though the game isn't flawless in some transitions, the overall level of quality is still great. Foliage density when exploring the world and the various rot effects are also a highlight, even if you really need to play quality mode to notice them. Ride 4. Right. Ride 4 caused quite the stir recently, and with a video of its PS5 version being compared to real life. On top of a special camera mode that recreates the shakiness of a rider's helmet while driving, the realistic weather effects and oh, lighting, shit. along with the natural looking environment, makes it all oh. come together. It may not be the most feature packed racing sim out there by now. Damn! I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker definitely look real. Shout out my nigga, um, 2 Leader. He be playing, um, what the fuck is it? Forza, I think. I don't know. He was just showing me like his car collection on there, and he was going crazy. He was just saying like, "Yeah, you know, this what the fuck be going on?" But damn, motorcycles already be scaring me and shit. And it, it, like the rain on the, the road, you s damn, this shit look like some real footage. Shakiness of a rider's helmet while driving, the realistic weather effects uh. and lighting, along with the natural looking environment, makes it all oh, come gosh. together. It may not oh, be the most future-packed racing sim out there by now, but it's time to acknowledge it as some of Milestone's best looking. Mm, Marvel Spider-Man nice. Miles Morales. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking Marvel about. Marvel Spider-Man received universal praise for its visuals, whether it was for the detail in Manhattan's buildings and denizens, the fluid movements of our hero, or the incredible skyboxes. Miles Morales improves on this feature with great-looking snow and weather effects, great draw distance, and a busier city with more density overall. This is in addition to introducing hardware-based ray tracing, which looks incredible, and numerous options for players who want 4K 60 frames per second performance, ray tracing, or something in between. God of War Ragnarok. One could... This... This shit, you know, God of War, them niggas don't be playing. Niggas definitely don't be playing. I, uh... think it's just called God of War for the uh, PS5. I've been on that one. That motherfucker is... It's a good game. That motherfucker is definitely hard. And the control schemes on that motherfucker, I had to switch it to the other shit, like the uh, original or whatever. Bruh, y'all got to play that motherfucker. And the storyline on that, that nigga, man, that shit hard. That shit hard. But nitpick Ragnarok for wheezing and animation here and there, but that's where the complaints end. The long-awaited sequel looks more detailed and gorgeously rendered, whether it's in the environmental effects and material detail or character animation and effects. All of this is yes, further expanded nigga. by the addition of new enemy types, the return of the one-take style of cinematics, and even denser environments. In short, it looks to be another classic, and yet another strong showcase for the PlayStation 5. And with that, we've and, reached the- And it's God of War Ragnarok. Them niggas got Thor in that bitch. Thor. And it's not the Thor that you've seen, you know what I'm saying? The big buff, like, blonde- yeah, surfer looking nigga. No, nah, they got this big burly like big motherfucker you see in a motherfucking 
Irish pub, you know what I'm saying? You see him at a bar, that nigga's just throwing back beer. Oh my. Yeah, that bit, that shit look like it's gonna be hard, definitely. Man, shout out to my fucking um oh let me see. Game and bolt. My fault the shit was in the way. Yeah, game and bolt, you know what I'm saying? Definitely I'm gonna check out some more. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to check out on this gaming channel. I'ma definitely be posting, you know what I'm saying, actual gaming videos. I'm gonna be live on Twitch and probably live on my main channel, you know what I'm saying? LV Skinny. And follow me on Twitch, LV Skinny, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I play games, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't just trying to, you know what I'm saying, sit around all day just playing the game, not actually connecting and doing some shit, man. So yeah, y'all fuck with me. Y'all let me know what else y'all want to see. Make sure y'all motherfucking like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out.